Okay, Benny, so let's take a look at this schedule. We're going to go straight to the horse's mouth for this one, Benny. And we want to start out with the two opening season games. One Thursday, September 5th, featuring the Baltimore Ravens at the Kansas City Chiefs. And following on Friday, September 6th, we have the first NFL game to be played in South America where the Green Bay Packers will face the Philadelphia Eagles. And just to let you know, I did a little bit of research because you notice on the first one it says Baltimore at Kansas City. It doesn't say an at sign here. But yes, it's versus. But who but isn't Green Bay the, officially the home team? No, they're not. They're not. They're not. So apparently and Philadelphia is not either. Yes, they are. They are actually the home team? Yes. And I can show you the research that I did on that. But the bottom line is this. When the NFL went to a 17-game season, they came up with some rules to determine okay. for their international games who would be the home team. And it had something to do, you know, at, at, with 17 games, somebody has a nine-game season. So somehow that whole nine-game thing works into this. And out of okay. that population, Philadelphia Eagles are going to be considered the home team. Okay. All right. Okay. The Packers at Philly. Uh, down in San Paulo, Brazil. Where there's some questions. First of all, there's a lot of, com well, there's been some complaints. I'm going to say a lot because I don't have a, a a number on it about them playing away like that. You know, the Eagles fans are like, we want to see our team here. So what they did was they set it up, they set up the stadium so that they, everybody could go down to the stadium and watch the game. That's cool. And apparently they've sold out. <laughs> so <laughs> not surprised. Weather, right now the weather is beautiful. You know what I mean? It's not right. super hot. It's not super cold. It's just the beginning of good football weather, you know right. what I mean? So they, I can see that could be fun. They, they might even do that in Green Bay. I don't know. But you got the Packers with Jordan Love, and you have Philly, ah, man, with Mr. Hurts. You gave well, – I'm going to let you go ahead and do your piece on this. Go ahead. All right, I'm going to keep this kind of short and sweet, tell you the truth. I don't want to talk too long because I know we want to go through the schedule. Um, Eagles are loaded with players. On paper, they look super strong. Possibly one of the strongest offenses on paper in the entire league, definitely in the NFC. However, the Packers' secondary is improved. They got some help at safety, which they needed. They have strong corners, and their pass rush is much improved. I think they match up well against the Eagles. And if they're smart, they'll do exactly what teams did last year against the Eagles when they had their monumental collapse. And that is put a lot of pressure on Jalen Hurts. Exotic blitzes, all kinds of stuff. Give it to him. Show him all that stuff. Up the middle, off the edges, whatever they got in their scheme, Give it to him because he struggled against that last year. He struggled against it so much, he actually called a coach from an opposing team to ask him to help him yep. with his problems. Okay? So I'm doing that right off the bat. Now people will say, well, we got Saquon Barkley now, so our offense will be more um, balanced. We'll be able to run the ball. Well, we'll, we'll see. Okay. Again, I think this is going to be a good game. Hopefully, it'll be a high-scoring game because I like high-scoring games. What the heck? But I believe that the Packers' defense matches up well against the Eagles' offense, and I believe Jordan Love will take care of the rest. I'm going to pick the Packers to win this one. Going with the Packers. Ooh, 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 ooh. There you go. There you go. There you go. Um, you didn't talk a lot about the Green Bay running back, former Raiders running back. Josh Jacobs, former number one rushing leader in the 
Josh Jacobs two years ago led the league in rushing. Yeah. Josh Jacobs is a three down back. He can catch the ball out on the wing. Uh, he's good again in screens and he's good between the tackles and he's good outside. Josh Jacobs is a great running back. In fact, as much as I loved Aaron Jones while he was there, uh, and, 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 oh, and by the way, AJ Dillon's hurt. Yeah. So yeah, it's probably. Josh Jacobs show pretty much all the way, Yeah, but I think he can handle it. And what I forgot, well, I was like, well, why are you bringing Josh in? You already got Aaron Jones. And then they went and traded Aaron Jones, <laughs> let him go to, to the Vikings. I did not know that Josh Jacobs is actually younger than Aaron Jones. He's a couple years younger. Okay. So, okay. So that was a very good addition for them. Yes, he's going to be a problem. All right. And the Eagles weren't great against the run last year either. Well, I'm I'm – I'm going to go with the same uh, methodology as before. What did you give the Packers brain trust? I, I don't. I, why are you asking me that? I didn't write this stuff down. I thought you were writing it down. No, I you just you see. Look, here they go. <laughs> Two fingers, no pen, pencil. I can't. Uh, I can't. I, I'm pretty sure I gave them a four point five. You gave them a higher rating than what you gave those Eagles, I do believe. Then I gave who? You gave the Packers a higher rating than the Eagles, I believe. Probably because what's his face is on the hot seat, Suriani. So I probably gave the I don't know. <laughs> Who cares? The Packers are gonna win. In any event, uh, I'm going with the Packers also in this case. So brain trust don't mean nothing in these games. Brain trust the players, the players gotta win these games. Oh, the players gotta be put in place. That's why they got coaches. The now, players will be put in place. Once they're put in place, they have to execute. And win the game. Well, that might be true too. They got to. They could be in the right place and not execute. This is on the players. 